Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here, and today in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to create a painterly effect inside of Affinity Photo. This is something that a lot of people have been asking me lately because I have been doing a lot of tutorials about uh, compositing. I've been sharing a lot of composites online, and people don't understand how I'm doing this surrealistic look on the final composite. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. So basically what I've got here inside of this uh, image, and I'll go ahead and delete the extra here, is I've got just a picture of this biker. And what I want to do is create that painterly look that I've been talking about. So the first thing that I do any time that I do this effect is I do a couple of things first because I want to make sure that I unify the scene a little bit. So I'm going to create a copy of this layer, Command and Control J. In the background layer here, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and we're going to choose Average at the top. It's going to average out that color, and we're going to set that on top of the original layer, and we're going to set that to a color blend mode, and then we're going to turn the opacity way down, something like 30%. It's going to unify the color a little bit, give it kind of a desaturated look. Then we'll duplicate the background layer again, and we will go to Filter, Blur, and this time we'll give it a Gaussian Blur. And we want to Gaussian Blur it out pretty good. Apply. What that's going to do is kind of unify the lighting across the board, kind of give it more of a defined appearance. And we'll change this from Normal to Soft Light. Something kind of like that. Change the Blend Mode down to about 60%. Or actually, in this case, I think 70 works a little better. And you can see here's before and after. I'm just kind of darkening it up, unifying everything together. It's also creating almost a natural vignette that sort of draws your eye into the original. Now what I'm going to do is on the top layer here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Merge Visible. That's going to merge all the visible layers into one single layer. Then I'm going to jump into a different persona. That's what's so cool about Affinity Photo. They have all these different personas here at the top, and I'm going to choose Tone Mapping as my persona. And once I do that, it's going to jump me into the Tone Mapping, and it may take a minute, depending on how fast your computer is, for this to actually start working. So you have to wait for that little blue bar to go all the way to the top, and then you get all these cool settings over here on the left, and you can see as I go through, these are all the kind of HDR looks that you have. Now my favorite is one called Zero Compression. That's my favorite. I also go into the James Ritson Customs and I go through and I check these out too because sometimes you create almost like an Instagram looking effect with a lot of these, which is kind of cool. It depends on the situation really. Um, I don't really see many of these that I like necessarily, but this is what I do. I go through and I just pick the one that I think looks the coolest and then I want to blend into that background because that's what I'm going to essentially do. I'm going to blend it into the background to get exactly what I want. And so let's see that one last thing. No, I don't think I like that. So let's go back up here to the top. We'll jump back into the extreme. I'll jump down and I'll grab zero compression, which again is my favorite. And then what I'll do is hit apply. And once I hit apply up there at the top, it creates this uber kind of gritty look and a lot of people don't like this and that's perfectly fine and that's why I changed the opacity to about 50% generally in this case I like it a little bit higher let's do about 65% for this one and then I'll put a mask on it and with the mask on it what I'm going to do is grab the brush tool and remember black conceals white reveals so I'll increase the size of the brush by hitting the right bracket key I'll make sure the hardness of the brush is set to zero. And then areas of the photo that I want to be not quite as defined, I'll just come in here and blur those out a little bit, clean them up, like his forehead around in here. And maybe I don't want the arms to be quite as gritty because they are already pretty dark and gritty. He's, he's kind of a dark, hairy guy, so we might not want to uh, have that grit in there. I love the grit in the beard. And so I'm going to leave that, gives it a nice texture, but especially right here around the tattoos, I want to make sure that those shine through pretty good. You can see there it lightens them up a bit, gives them a little bit of definition. And you can also use this almost like a dodge and burn if you wanted to. And let's go in here and I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'll just kind of brush in 
around the cheeks. And we'll bring his nose back just like that and paint around. I'm going to leave the wrinkles around his eyes. I think that's kind of cool. Make sure that the eyes are still well defined as well, but we'll leave kind of like those crow's feet and I'll take care of the eyebrows, stuff like that. So anything I want to keep normal, I'll do that. And I'll leave the bricks really well defined. And so there we go. And that's basically all I do when I'm creating these painterly like effects inside of Affinity Photo. I just take the original photo, I unify the light a little bit, I give it a little bit more grit, a little bit more darkness, and then I go in and I add that tonality on top of it and then I brush out any of the parts that I don't like. So essentially we go from a photo that looks like this originally to one that looks like this in just a few short and easy steps. Now if I was compositing this, I would do the same thing. I would make a selection of this guy, bring him into the scene. I would unify the look of the scene with the background layer, just like I did here, except for the fact that I used the entire composition. And when I do my full course on compositing in Affinity Photo, you'll see that. But in this case, this was just a how to create that painterly-like effect in Affinity Photo using just a couple of layer mask tricks, and of course the tone mapping workspace or persona. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned a little bit and you can take that and use it in your own projects. I'd love to see what you come up with with this. So be sure to share it with me on social media, hashtag Sealy Training, hashtag Tutorial Tuesday. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Justin Seeley. You can also follow me at facebook.com slash Seeley Training. And as always, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Justin Seeley. Thanks everybody for watching. See you again next time.